Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's been a while that I shared any tutorial. So today I'm back uh, with uh, a series of uh, tutorials for Hadoop. So uh, so what I'm, I will discuss about is today, today we are going to learn how to add a service to a cloud data manager. So today we will add Hue as a service which is Hadoop user experience to cloud data installer or cloud data manager. So Hue as you know is a, a web UI to access Hadoop components. So through uh, Hue you can access uh, Pig, uh, uh, Hive and other uh, query editor. Also you can uh, you know do, you can open job designer and job explorer. Okay, uh, so we have this uh, cluster with me, uh, which is a very basic cluster, and uh, it is its uh, capacity is very less. So yet we are going to uh, you know learn how to add a service. Okay, so uh, first of all uh, you should have at least three node cluster and you should have at least uh, you know f uh, 10 GB of RAM in each of the server okay and at least 15 gb of hard disk in each of the machines okay so okay let's go ahead and start uh, to to uh, do the process okay so before we go so i just wanted to introduce you to our channel uh, linux unix ax so please subscribe to if you want to learn and you want to watch more such kind of tutorials okay so let's go ahead so first of all you have to go to this uh, uh, home console which is your cloud data uh, manager console okay and then we, here you can see we have uh, some services already HDFS which is a code then as base uh, hive okay so uh, to start to add hue you need at least hive okay okay so we are going to uh, click on action so here you can see add service okay so if you click on add service so you will get uh, 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 installer page. So here you have to select Hue is a graphical user interface to work with cloud data distribution including Hadoop and MapReduce and Hive. Okay, so click continue. So here uh, you will be asked to you know uh, select the dependencies. Okay, so we are going to uh, take the take the smallest uh, you know the the least possible dependency so we take this one so it is having hdfs hive uzi spark and of course uh, zookeeper and yarn is the must for any of these so click on continue so here i am currently having only one server okay so if you have many server you will have an option to assign this uh, uh, the roles to a particular machines okay so here it is by default choosing as the given server so just click on continue so now here it is very important because here you have to specify the database and the username and password okay so this is very important because you, you need to know what is the database name and the password so you can just try whether it is working with my database so you need to know so I'm currently using the database as MySQL and the name is MySQL and the username and password is uh, is you should know this while while adding the database you should be aware of this okay so let's just click on test connection okay so this is the, this is the database which I am going to use okay so uh, while when choosing this uh, options so there are three options like you know uh, you, if you have a PostgreSQL setup so while adding the database if you have while installing the cloud data manager if you have installed with PostgreSQL you should be knowing the database name and the username and password okay so currently I've been using MySQL so I'll be using the MySQL username and password and here you have to specify the host name where the database is running so currently it is running in my single server which is the same okay so the connection is successful so you click on continue so now what will happen is it will start the dependent services okay so so like uh, it will start uh, you know HDFS and high
drive and Q. So HDFS is already started and so, so whatever is not running because to uh, run Q, whatever dependent components are required and if they are not running, so Q will automatically start them. So here you can see it is already uh, the dependent, dependent components were already running so it only started Q. Okay, so now we click on continue. So you can see the service has been successfully configured. Now click on finish. Okay, so now if you see, now Hue has been added as a service. Okay, and it is running. If it is, if you see, it is in green state, which means it is running. Okay, so now we click on Hue. Okay, yeah. So now we will see the things that we can do with Hue. Okay. So what we are going to do is, uh, this is your Hue console, okay. So uh, first of all, you should see the server health is fine, okay. And uh, it will be having a Hue server, okay. Uh, fine. So what we are going to do is, we are going to click on Hue Web UI, which is the user interface to work with Hue. So as you can see, it is working on 8088 when, when I click on this. When I hover my my cursor here, if you see the corner, the port number is triple four times eight. Okay, so we are going to open the cloud, uh, the hue which is running on my local host. Okay. So you have to space. You have to, you have to give the port number. So this will open the hue uh, page okay yeah so this is uh, your uh, hue console so if you are running it if you are installing it for the first time you you may you may uh, you may be asked to give the uh, to choose the username and password okay so it is not asking me to choose the username and password which is that means it is already set so i'll just use my earlier username and password Okay, so I, I can see that Hue is uh, uh, accessible now and so it will ask for some basic setup while when you do it for the first time. Okay. Okay. So back here so you can see here it is giving some warning that uh, it is giving some warning that this preferred storage engine should be mysql you know db and all that you can just uh, for for a timing you can just ignore it and click on next and here it will ask you to install the uh, application example because when you have this page you will need these uh, hive and uh, other components example for demo purpose so here you can ignore this and if you want you can install this by click on clicking on this so just click on next and here just go with the default user click on next okay skip the wizard next time just click on done okay so here it will ask you to add data click on got it okay so now you are on the hue home page okay yeah so again it is going back there so we are we will we'll jump to our query editor and this will click on home page so it will take you to okay it will take you to my document Okay, so okay, so this is your home console, and uh, so what we do is we open the query editor as the Hive. So we you have four query editor: Hive, Pick, and DB Query, and Job Browser. 
Okay, so currently we are going to just explore uh, Hive, which is the query editor. Okay, so this is uh, the current uh, 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 demo and presentation for you. And uh, in my next tutorial, I will uh, I will sh uh, I will create another you know demo where I will be showing you how to work with you. Okay. So here uh, you can see this is the Hive uh, editor. Okay, so we, I'll be showing you how to run a query, how to insert a query, and how to uh, submit a query through a job, and how to you know uh, uh, monitor those jobs through resource manager. Okay, so that's all in this tutorial. And uh, if this video helped you, uh, please uh, please subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.